Welcome back to another episode of Getting Back to Basics. And we're going looking for some big juicy mud crabs for breakfast. Two pots we've had in overnight. This is Az's here. He chose a, a deep bend in the river. I've actually gone on the other side there, sort of deep in the guts of it. But let's see, see how we go. Is it heavy, mate? Oh, mate, he's heavy. <laughs> gonna be a big bloody chomper in there, mate. Oh, come here. Oh, just oh. one. <laughs> One brim, one little brim. Might be able to make a little, little fish soup, <laughs> little brim kebab. Look at that PV brim. The next generation of brim. Oh, off he goes. Off your trip, He can mate. barely swim. He's that full of the bait. <laughs> Just chock a block. Oh, that's not a good start, mate. We are none from one. Half of our pots uh, unsuccessful this morning. Fingers crossed the second pot is going to load up for us. Where are they? Where are they? Oh, what was that? Mud skipper. Big mud skipper. Huge mud skipper. <laughs> Good idea when you're coming through mangroves like this, just keep out for croc slides. Hopefully this is a little bit more fruitful streak. Yeah, with yours unsuccessful, yet again it looks like I'm gonna be the one providing for the... Oh. <laughs> Isn't that heavy, eh? Full. Oh. oh, it's legit full of juicy ones. Holy shit, mate. That's cod. Oh yeah. Just full, just full of crabs. <laughs> Good Have a look at that, I think all mine went into yours. <laughs> PB cod too, we'll get that cod out. Yeah. What's that? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and cod. Bark. Just have to check the size on them. Bark. These ones are girls, we'll get them back in the water. See if there's any big enough for throwing on the fire. That is a good few mud crabs. Oh, look oh, at him. He's chomping the... Get off get off the fish, mate. Oh, get one off him. One coming, huh? yeah. You get back in there. They're hardy, them cod. Come on, go the right way. Yeah, that's it. Where are you going, Johnny Mud Crab? He's got massive nippers, but I think it's just... He's a bit small. We'll let him go. What about this one, mate? Yeah, he's solid. Nice buck, that one, eh? Yeah, great buck. You can tell that it's a buck by the V. Very defined V. On the bottom. This could be breakfast, this one. Breakfast of champions. All right, let's sort the other ones out. Just put this one on the lie detector on the old ruler, and he is legal, but he's just, just borderline, eh? So when they're like this, I like letting them go. Won't be long until he's big enough for us, mate. Let him go. You go, mate. Go get just a bit bigger. All right? You have a good one. Tell your mates of our kindness. You, you can get a bit more bigger. You can get a ball. One might be close. That one can go. Another buck. This one too. Come on, we'll get you back in the water. Hey, 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 come on. Come on. You, you, get, one here after you go back. Look at this one here. See you guys. Oi, oh, don't <laughs> jump at me. Just checked our two, our two mud crab pots. Great pots, however, one none, one full, but none that were quite big enough for us this morning. So, plan B. Let's go walking and see if we can find some big ones, mate. Let's do it. So, the idea of what we're doing here is we're coming for a walk where we're going along the edge of the mangroves where it's not too deep or there's no water as the tide is still running out. So we're coming up the back of the mangroves up into this area where there's pools of salt water. And there's a likely chance of mud crabs to be either walking through the shallows, through this mud, oh, geez, she's deep, or finding holes where mud crabs will hopefully be in. Just 
keep going into the thick of it here, along the edge of the, that little creek. All the crabs make their way down off the flat into the main creek. As you can see, the water running off. But hopefully we find one who's just missed the tide a little bit and is up in one of these pools. Likely looking spot up here. Up here? Yeah. Little oh. drain running out into the main creek. Oh, yes, as as one over here, mate. Yeah, you got it? Yeah, yeah. Jeez, he's a big one. Buck? Yeah, yeah, big buck. Have we got the size of the claws on him? All right. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Oh, yeah. Big buck, mate. That's a beautiful crab. Look at him. Have we got the size of him? Fuck, how's the chompers on him? Yeah, that's breakfast for me, mate. Well, was yeah, good. Just sitting in the drain there. Just coming down the drain, yeah, as we were hoping for. How yeah, good's that? Got to be stoked, Ledge. Yeah, mate. Well done. Cheers. You Don't suppose you're down. going to share that with me, are you? <laughs> Looks like I'm going to have to find my own. It's just so crazy that out here in one of the most uninviting places you could possibly imagine, there's sand flies, there's mud, it stinks. You can literally hear the mosquitoes and nature has gone and produced one of the tastiest eating things you can get your hands on, big mud crabs. It's literally the only reason I've walked through the mangroves here because these guys just make it, Oy, they make it worth it. Jeez, he's a bit feisty this one. The other areas you'll find the mud crabs like this is at the base of a hollow tree. So something like this might be a good spot to look. Underneath there, you can see how a mud crab would make a nice little home. Get him out. He's hanging on to something. Oh, Here we go the Dublin hands. Go the double. Come on. Come on, you big bugger. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> you little beauty. Donkey, man. That is a massive Woo! buck, mate. But one this size is uh, more than enough for me for Brecky. Fingers crossed as pulls his weight today because <laughs> I don't want to share. Stricky's just got one. Now I need to, I need to come through with the goods. Now just to give you a hint of the reality of walking through this mangrove swamp first thing in the morning on a Sunday. Now it's definitely not glamorous. All right, we're getting eaten alive by midges, sand flies, walking on sharp sticks, walking through really thick mangroves. Uh, there's, yeah, it's definitely not a, a comfortable experience. However, you don't do it because it's a comfortable experience. And to be honest, it's probably easier to just go to the fish market and buy a couple of mud crabs. <laughs> but that's not the point. The point is that you get out here, you get nature, you smell the smells, you know, you hear the sounds of the birds, of the, the insects, the crickets, the, um, the crabs clicking. And you just observe nature and you just get out here and be in here and see adventure coming out that that makes the experience not what you catch or yeah so just fucking get out here that's the message you know what i mean oh oh that mangrove might have gone straight into me oh this is a massive massive hole wouldn't be surprised if there was a couple of crabs in here hopefully there's just one yeah yeah, there's a hard shell in there. Is there? Yeah. Shell. yeah. Shell, shell at the back. Jeez, it's deep. Yeah, it's fucking really deep. I'll be on croc watch, mate. Let him from a different angle. I've just been walking up along this bank. There's been a couple of smaller holes, and I've just come to this absolute den, this big lair of a mud crab hole. Have a look at that. That's what you're looking for. Big, undercut, deep mud ledge. A little bit of water in it. It's always pays to just check right up the back, have a little bit of a tap with a stick or this bush knife. But I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get shoulder deep in this one. In there, mate. I'll pull your feet out. <laughs> Kiss those fingers goodbye, mate. Talk me through it, mate. What do you got? You got a feel on it? I'm trying to grab it around the side of its back legs, just yeah. so I'm clear of them chompers. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Definitely got chop pistol. Mm. 
Are you got a yeah, hold of him? Yeah. yeah oh yeah. Yep, I'm gonna. Yep. Swing him around. Oh! <laughs> Look at that man! Wow! Oh. <sighs> Look at that! Look at the nippers on it. Yes, it's a buck. Look. Yeah, 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 yeah. God, that's a beautiful. Nice, bird. mate. Oh. Jeez, you got in deep for him, bro. Yeah. How good's that? Yeah. Oh. And it feels heavy. Oh, well done. Heavy. Yeah. There's a lot of weight in it. Last few crabs we got last week, they just didn't have weight in them. Nah, they weren't full. Yeah. You should see. But hopefully, they definitely feel full. <whistles> nice looking grab, mate. Oh, yeah. Oh, stoked. Well done, bro. Never a doubt, eh? Nah, I never doubted you. <laughs> oh, well, let's get a little fire up, get some coals going, and have it for brekkie. Awesome, mate. Couple of big bucks for brekkie. Uh, that's the way to catch a crab. A lot more enjoyable than just putting a crab pot out and waiting. And you can well, you get the come um, here, get out of it, mate. You can get the bigger ones as well, which is what we're after. Yeah, you can be far more selective, but either way, as long as you end up with a, a feed of mud crabs, you're not doing too bad. That's it, mate. Let's get this fire going, eh? All this dry grass like this. What you do, just get your fingers through that, run it through, and you'll grab all the dry stuff. A lot of this timber here you find in the mangroves, it's really light, so it burns really quickly, but it means obviously if you want to cook a couple of crabs, you're going to need a fair bit of it. What are you doing there, Az? Just getting him, yeah, getting so him all set up, mate? I'm, doing, I'm setting up the fire, pre-setting it up into three parts. One, I've gone and found some really dry, dry as possible, dead grass. Yeah. That's what we're going to start it with. And then I've got the next size up, which is just really thin, little dry twigs. And then progressively work up to the next pile, a bit thicker. And then hopefully she's going with a fair bit of power behind it. And then we can start putting some, some thicker timber on, which is going to end up being our coal base to cook these mud crabs on. Yeah, perfect. Ooh. The mud crab have got the second highest level of testosterone out of any animal in the whole animal kingdom. And that, it's them along with bull sharks. So pretty, two nasty critters. And that is why they're just always ready to rumble as soon as you come near them. They're ready to just slice a finger off. So when you get one up on them and you actually catch one, don't hurt yourself. And you get to eat one. It's um, quite a rewarding experience. Take the cake for third most testosterone driven animal. Third most. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's the fire looking at. Yeah, it's looking good. It's been about 15 minutes. Um, just opening it up a bit now so that all those coals are exposed. And you yeah. don't, we don't put those crabs straight onto the exposed flame. Nice. And the idea with these crabs, Mother Nature's way of allowing us to cook them, you just put them on their back like that, and then they're just going to cook in their own juices, backside facing down. That should Jeez, be good now, mate. some heat behind it. Ready, mate? Yeah, look at that bed. Beautiful. One, two, three. That's them. That is as fresh as it gets, mate. It's a fair bit of heat. You've got to gauge how much heat's in your fire, and this is bloody hot. Yeah. So we'll have it about, we'll check it about six, seven minutes, but I'd say it'd be just after that, about eight, nine minutes. Eight, nine minutes. Yeah, that'll be spot on. And the good thing with these, it actually gives you a temperature gauge for them turning brown to orange. Lets you know how, how cooked they are. You can see that heat already working from the, the bottom up. Straight up that nipper. Yes. Just a little extra to keep that heat through evenly through the nippers. There she is, the moment of truth. Have a go at that. And the smells coming off that, I know you at home can't appreciate that, but the smells coming off, that is something special. Just that smoky flavor through it, that is all meat there. Woo! Look at that, mate. Have a look at that lollipop. Ooh! <laughs> Cheers, mate. Cheers. Sunday brekkies. All right, let's see how she is. Oh, wow. That is exquisite. That is so tasty. Mm. Forget about your acai bowls and your eggs benedict, mate. Sunday morning mud crabs, it's a new thing. Get on it. Straight off the fire. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. Thank you very much, Mother Nature. Cheers, brother. It's been Cheers. a pleasure. Really enjoyed this morning. It's been fun, mate. How 
good's that? Isn't it funny how one of the most uninviting places where there's sand flies and mud and stink and smell produces one of the most beautiful spectacles of seafood you could ever lay your lips on. Hi legends, thanks so much for tuning in, watching, supporting what we do, coming along for the ride. Really appreciate it. Mate, so good to be back filming an episode with you. The whole COVID virus kept us apart, so we're doing our, our um, different things for a little while, but mate, great to be back out here with you. Been a pleasure, brother. Thanks for joining us, we'll see you next time. Look at that, man. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't dare. Cause COVID could never, <laughs> never tear us apart. <laughs> See you next time.